Hi, I'm Allison, and I'm going to show you how to create a nice, friendly welcome block for your Moodle site. Uh, so what we're talking about is this thing you see over on the side here that says, hey, welcome, um, and gives some um, information about the professor and um, kind of creates a sense of uh, somebody being there. So this is important. Um, it's an important practice in online learning to add elements that establish a social presence uh, for instructor and students. Uh, just so that participants feel like they are learning from and with and through other living, breathing human beings. Um, so one simple way to anchor some social presence in a Moodle site is, again, this uh, welcome block right here. It's not the only way, um, but it's a pretty easy thing to add um, and kind of a bare bones basic way to start adding some social presence. Uh, so the way you'll actually add a welcome block is through this feature called HTML block. So you click add a block. HTML, and then we're going to go and edit that with um, kind of the instructor information there. Uh, so once you see your block will pop up over here, you can drag it to wherever you want it to live on your Moodle site. Usually in the upper right hand corner is kind of the standard place to put it, and it really should be something that your students um, and participants see every time they come into the site, just so they know that there's someone there. Um, you may want to choose a picture that's not quite as creepy as this uh, picture I have of Professor Curie, but uh, you know, that's up to you. All right, so once you've added an HTML block, I'm actually going to delete this one because this, this is itself an HTML block, so I'll just show you the behind the scenes of how this one works. Um, but again, it's an HTML block. Once you've added that, you can, sorry. All right, go and change it so it looks um, nice and welcoming. Uh, you can change the block title to something like welcome or welcome to the course or meet the instructor, something like that. And that's what will show up at the top of the block. And then for the content, you'll just add a picture here. And then below you can add um, a name and contact information, things like that. Uh, the way to add a picture, um, it's not too hard. You just go ahead and click this uh, add an image. You can find and upload an image from your computer. Uh, but the important thing to do then once you've done that is to also go and change two different settings on this. Add an image description. This is important um, because it makes this image accessible to uh, participants who are using screen readers. just lets them know what the image is of. So something like a picture of the instructor. Uh, and then also under appearance when you're adding an image, set the dimensions equal to 100% width. That will make sure that your image fills up the entire block and is no larger or no smaller than the full width of the block. Uh, so those are two things to make your image s display properly in this welcome block. It's pretty easy. All right, after you've done that, you can hit insert. I'm going to cancel because I already have an image there, but that's how I added this image. So it displays 100% width with a nice uh, description for students and participants with screen readers. All right, so you've got your image there. Set those two things up and yeah, add some contact information and everything looks set. Save the changes and you should have a welcome block over on the side of your page here. If anything changes over the course of the semester, you can just go ahead and tweak it and uh, configure and change things that way. Um, and some other things you might want to consider including in a welcome block, here's kind of a bare minimum um, contact info, but you may also want to include stuff like your Skype name or your Twitter handle if you want students to be able to contact you in sort of other ways, um, or your Google Plus um, through U of M, just if you want them to be able to drop in on virtual office hours or things like that. You might even include an introduction video to the instructor. Um, you may also want some to include links to any software that participants would need to complete the course. It's kind of a good way for them to just make sure their computer's up to speed and that they've got what they need to uh, get through the course. Uh, you may also want to have some links to how participants can get support or accommodations if they have a disability or other issues with accessing the course or need more support. Uh, so that's a good place to put that. And you may also want to put pictures of other team members or TAs or anyone who kind of is involved with this uh, course like that. Remember, there are tons of creative ways of establishing a social presence, so really dream big. But this welcome block here on the side um, is a kind of a bare minimum of what you should try to build into a Moodle site just to give your participants a sense of learning from and with other people. All right, good luck. Happy Moodling.